the points leader, the 2020 champ. He puts another one on the board. Eli Tomac wins the 450 main in Anaheim. I was just pumped, dude, okay. like switch into a, a new team. Like, I mean, beforehand, right? You run all the scenarios through your head, like, you know, am I making the right decision? You know, what's gonna be better? Can I make this better? Big risk, right? That way I felt like, but I felt like I should take the risk upon myself and, and do it. So like that celebration, that feeling, it was, it was almost like it was like my first win again, the feeling of it last week, like going across the finish line. It was just huge sigh of relief getting that first win, man. Just because I felt like there's there's definitely like one side of the fence that's questioning us and the decision, right? And especially at this point in my career, this late in my career, like why would he do that when he had that much success elsewhere? And that was the, like, dude, the pressure relief foul that went off me. No, never any doubt. Uh, as a matter of fact, I ordered red plates for him preseason. And there's a lot of people started talking shit when you made this move. And I guess my question is, are you happy with this move now? I mean, yeah, at first, I have, yes, dude. I mean, it, Anaheim won, yeah, I probably looked like a, a Joe, you know? Like, it was the wrong way, but everything before that was good, and now it's good. And it, it feels right. You're in a good spot. Yeah. One of the greatest. Who? Eli Toa. He's one what? of the greatest riders. Why is he one of the greatest? He's been doing this thing for so long, he's so consistent with what he does, and, you know, hammer down. You respect him? I definitely respect the whole family. Yeah, our expectations with Eli, are, I think they're always to, to win, but I mean, you have to be realistic too when you when you get on a completely new bike, get on a new team, uh, there's gonna be a few kinks to work out. You know? and for us, it was just getting his chassis a little bit more dialed for the first couple rounds, and then the clutch and the start execution. Um, we did a lot of work on that in those first three rounds and kept improving, and now I feel like we're in a, a good spot to kind of really go racing now. After he wins the race, do you guys celebrate? What do you guys do as a family? What happens? Well, normally we just come back to the coach, hang out, and then, uh, well, it depends what's going on. But yeah. <laughs> we got to do this 17 times. We can't get too crazy at round four. Okay, good answer. Eli's a gnarly dude. Um, hell, man, I've known Eli since he was five years old, like riding little mini bikes. He's a gnarly dude then. His dad's a gnarly dude. Like. He was brought up to be a gnarly dude, right? Obviously getting a red plate's badass, because red plates are just badass in general. Rolling out for uh, qualifier one. Now's the time to throw on a time. Like we had, we just had free practice earlier and now we're like in the, the one that matters. Yeah, this gives us our gate pick. Qualifying's over. B2, man. Well, the first one, I was I was fast. I was B1, shred. Uh, I was the early guy to do the quads. Quad glad today. And yeah, man, it was tough, but we were faster again in, in P2, but uh, Dylan got me by a couple tenths, so it's good, man. Teammates on top. Dragon's tough tonight. Like, that practice, if you, what we're trying to do is jump off the second step from the top, right? And then you miss the top one completely. But sometimes you clip your front end and get a little front, front end, a uh, little bounce. It's a little, it's a little bit sketch. Everything's been going pretty smooth between us. We get along pretty good. So I think that's the first step in having success with a rider is working together. Do you talk to him about riding or you just stay on the uh, bike? I mean, he's a veteran, right? He knows yeah. how to ride. He knows what to do. So. Uh, my job is just working with the team and getting him comfortable. Uh, engines are pretty close to the same. Eli's is a little bit different. He's pretty hard on the power. He, uh, he likes it full blown all the time and Dylan likes it a little more calmed down. Describe his ride style. Nice. Just manhandles the bike, it seems. Just muscles that thing around. Dude, Tobac, he's uh, obviously you know, always fast. 
kind of keeps to himself. You know, he's kind of a secretive guy. You don't know what he's got going on, but he's a legend for a reason because he's he's fast and, and he makes it happen a lot of times. Is he one of the best guys you've ever raced? Yeah. He's some deep questions, Baisha. No, I like it. I like it. Like, yeah. No, I, okay. respect, I respect him as a racer 100%, and he's he's a strong competitor. I like racing Eli. He races clean, fair. I like it. We've had the greatest battles, and um, I feel like we've been the top of our game for many, many, many years now, so I got nothing but respect for the guy. No, usually on most nights that he's on, he's on, and uh, it's hard for anybody to beat him. Uh, but. For the most part, we've, we've done some good battling, for sure. That dude, whenever he's behind you, you can hear it, because that dude is wide open, hanging out the clutch. And sometimes I watch him ride, and I'm like, oh, like that's got to be so stressful how he does it sometimes. He's been in it, too, you know? Like, it's not like he gets, like, hurt or anything like that. Like, he stays in the game, you know, race after race, year after year. So it's, it's pretty damn impressive. You had great rivalries, like, back in the day, you know, with, with Ricky and Stu and, and Chad and, and Stu. And, you know, there's all these great people that battled each other. And I feel like me and Eli, we're kind of like these two, you know, for, for a while now. So it's freaking awesome. You got the whole family on the road these days, huh? Full crew to this one. Yeah. It's because we drove. Like, flying's a nightmare, but uh, we drove from, from Cali to here, so... Dude, it's just, it's just chaos. He just ate potatoes. What's his name? Noah. Tell me about Noah. Noah is four months. He has two teeth okay. already. Noah? He's definitely his dad's son, that's for sure. Very spoiled ride. Has to be held 24-7. How does Noah like Supercross to it? Loves it. Y'all saw him on the podium the other yeah. weekend. Really liked it. This one on the other hand. And, and then what's your name? Lab. Who's just like Eli. That's that so crazy. That is Eli's twin. We got the black eye. Yep. Gotta hit the, the floor, you know, a couple times, right? So, Kathy, how's the grandma like? Loving it. Loving it. And then how is it with all these kids on the road? How's Love the fight? It. <laughs> how's so the dynamic? It's so cool. That uh, check out the right side of the whoops. What's that? I had three minutes to load that 250. Oh, really? Wow. feeling the front flow and he's definitely doing that. You just watch him and it's just like he's hitting his marks. He comes out firing every single time he is on the track. He won his first 450 Supercross in this building. In 2022, he's looking to be the first rider to go back to back, but this is just the start of his night. Race one in the books. Eli Tomac wins first in Glendale. One down, one down two to go. Yeah, that's the way we want to go, man. Rip the whole shot, lead the race. Move.
good jump. Not as good, but still the best. I mean, do we take the leap? Is he a great starter now, Ricky? That's two in a row. So he takes the lead. Jason Anderson second. Never seen him look this easy uh, at, at any race, really. He just looks like it's uh, Sunday Cruise. Yeah, he's up 4.6 seconds. Now, I'm telling you how impressed I am with Eli Tomac. Grabbed the whole shot, he checked out, and he won again. Eli Tomac wins race two of the night. Yeah, man. Two down, one to go. We're gonna do it. How you feeling? I'm, I'm shredding. Like, I, my tires feel like I've got, like, I'm like cat on a carpet, dude. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I like that. Took a chance, dude. To the strictly tell map the other day. Yeah. And dude, you pulled it hard. Dude, we, we did it. We're, we're, we're vibing. It's good. <laughs> How you feeling, dude? Take me through the night, man. Just like the whole night was just was good. I mean, yeah, I didn't get the last photo, but first two, put the work in, executed the starts. It's so good. There, that last one, did you sort of let off? Just get the overall? I mean, yeah, I wanted to stay in front, but I wasn't going to take unnecessary risk at the same time. Do the point spread. Um, the two up front, Chase and Jason, were riding, riding really fast, but I, uh, I put my big effort in one and two. Welcome back, dude. Yeah.